Hey guys, today is my first ever Lightroom tutorial. Um, it's one of the best editing software out there for editing photos. And I'm going to show you one example here. Uh, I'm not going through the basics, but I'm going specifically how to rescue a blown up sky like this one. Now, uh, I went for a little trip today morning. Uh, went to the harbor and I saw some uh, nice boats. So I thought, you know, I would uh, take this down. But unfortunately, the metering on the camera isn't that well to balance the exposure for both the boat and the sky. I mean, right here is perfectly exposed, you know, everything's sharp but the sky seems to be blown out as you can see some more shifts right there uh, so I'm going to teach you how to transform this into this now as you can see you know the sky gets dramatically blue and you can see part of the uh, sea it's like a gradient you know from this yellowish all the way to bluish um, there's a contrast in between, you know, it's uh, bright and warm here and it's very cool here. I think this photo is one of the best photo I've ever uh, executed. I wouldn't say photograph because the editing part saved me up. So from here, I guess you could see how important is um, post processing, you know people like to get their settings correct on their camera you know they spend hours to spend money to buy a let's say three stop any filler but then in the end here's what you can do with Lightroom um, okay so the first thing you wanna do is of course uh, open up Lightroom and I'm just going to get into the pictures where is it raw okay so um, one more tips do not ever underestimate power of raw files you know, get what I'm saying I mean if you're shooting this in um, JPEG you know um, you won't be able to rescue it that that um, nice. I mean, you know. So, um, I have to say, I'm definitely not the Lightroom expert. I mean, this still looks complicated for me. How the workflow goes, but um, I'm just going to open up the raw file. Uh, what did I save it? Uh, so that's the reason I always shoot both raw and jpeg i mean it's space consuming especially if you look at the size of it uh 25 mb jesus Christ. but you know it's something good you could um always preview it also i oh this is my photo i mean yeah it's right here so once i found it you know i just need to get the raw file drag it into uh, Lightroom maybe something's wrong um, just give me a second create a new catalog first thing first let it load meanwhile I'm just going to check my Facebook for a bit on my second monitor ah there you go um, sorry I've been uh, taking some time to get my stuff ready so what you need to do is oh go to library uh, you don't necessarily have to Press import. I'm just going to drag and drop. 
the file here. Um, whoa! Oh, so it's loading the whole album. So I'm importing the raw file. All right. So develop. So now let's the magic begin. So the first thing you want to do is grab this graduated filter now I mean I'm not a master of this stuff but I just dis discovered it you know a few seconds ago uh, what you need to do is drag and drop uh, slowly steadily um, the first effect you will see is that it will increase the exposure see uh, but that don't really matter just drag it in all the way down to right there um, personal preferences it up to, is up to you how you wanna drag your filler so now first thing first is to correct the exposure so I drag the exposure right down right the brightness down now this part right there you can you should be able to see a few of those clouds uh, oops sorry I accidentally pressed something brightness down you just want to make it uh, under I mean make it contrasty um, so instantly you see the effect right there it's yellowish now I'm not sure because it might be you know I set default not good at this but I just want to pull you know I want to draw some of those clouds back you know the clouds are really cool so exposure is fine now I guess uh, I'm gonna increase the sharpness now here's where the magic begin uh, press on color and you wanna choose you know a nice light 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 blue right once you get it increase the saturation back now if you choose you know a really really blue bluish color um, it's going to look really fake so you better choose a lighter one and then you slowly increase the saturation so once you're done press enter voila minimize it and there you go now you can just uh, adjust the overall this is for the overall because you already have the sky balance you know uh, so I'm just going to uh, bring that up bring the white balance up uh, clarity and contrast I, I always stick to blacks and contrast because uh, you know I'm that kind of person um, big me in. right I see that it's not that blue enough so I just I guess I'm just going to uh, bring it back up and this blue is more dramatic um, bring up the exposure that's right there bring this up well that was a rescue if you see how the sky is blown up and then you bring it back up it's it not just rescue the whole photo I think you know, it makes it more dramatic there's a contrast you know uh, dark and white and uh, blue and yellow I mean the shot is really solid I guess so hopefully that will make you a they will uh, this tutorial will make your day is the wild up and that's it you're done thanks guys see ya